Today's video is not about skating. Even the intro is. Today's video is more like a. Sorry about that. Today's video is more like a vlog. Um, and about the ghost that's in our house. So I'm gonna go to the store real quick and get a power rate or something. Anyways, I drank like two of these big cups of water already. I need something stronger. So. We are gonna head to the shop at and get some uh, a drink. It's not too bad. Yes. All right. I'm in my car. So what time is it? 12. It's one in the morning right now, and uh, I've been skate, I've been practicing ollies and shove it. I got to do one shove it today. I did not record it. Oh wait, did I record it? I think I tried to do slow mo, and I did record it, but I think I deleted. It. I, don't, I don't remember. I was gonna post it up on Instagram. Post it up on ollie on Instagram. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. It's my Last name and first name, so I'll post it in the description. It's Trio Ray. Follow my Instagram. Um, yeah, let's head to the store. Just came back from uh, shop. I got some Powerade. So one of the reasons why I haven't been making vape vaping videos is because I kind of got back into cigarettes. Let me turn this down. I got back into cigarettes mainly because uh, I'm in the process of getting out of the army. And um, it's just been very, very stressful. So I've been smoking cigarettes. Um, I don't, oh shit. I don't want to start again, but it's been really, really, really hard to not smoke cigarettes. I've been smoking pretty bad lately. So I know you guys are probably pissed off because I'm smoking cigarettes and I've made a vaping videos and stuff like that, but I know. Anyways. Got some Powerade, got some cigarettes. Um, but once I get out, I'm gonna start vaping again. Um, but uh, yeah, so this vlog is gonna be, like I said earlier, about the ghost that's in the house. As I told you before, I think I did in one of my videos, I used to, I played the Ouija board a few times, and uh, I do believe in ghosts. I've seen many, many things. In my life growing up, I've seen, uh, seen a lot of spirits and ghosts, uh, demon, um, and such. Um, I've seen shadow people. Um, I've been possessed. I had a lot of, I had a lot of demon uh, attached to me before. So, yep, this is what it's about. So, if you... Don't want to watch this if you don't have to but uh it'd be pretty sweet if you did so i get some more views on this um and then you can tell me what you think about ghosts and whatnot and if you believe in uh paranormal and uh also supernatural next time we'll talk about aliens right now we're talking about ghosts and shit it's freaking cold out here it's like 14 degrees and i turned the car off and the heater off so i'm gonna finish this cigarette but, uh, yeah, there's a ghost in our house. We have, we have a sensor. I'll show you the sensor when we go inside. It goes off randomly through the night. Especially when there's, like, people here. Like, say someone stays at night. Someone, like, a few other people stay at night. It, like, uses our energy and, like, walks around the house. It flushed our toilet already upstairs. Uh, you can hear footsteps once in a while. The doors open and close. I'll, sh I'll show you where it's all happening at. Um, but. Mama, come on. Let's go pee. Let's go pee. Go pee. There's a mouse that lives right here somewhere. Apparently, my wife said there's a she just found like mouse poop right there in that area. Let me show you where the sensor's at. So, we look dark right here. There's the sensor. 
This sensor will go off. It's a motion sensor. It will go off in the middle of the night randomly. Our dog sends uh, like it picks up anything, so it could pick up our dog too. So our dog, we have a Chihuahua, obviously you saw that, but um, it's a sensor. We sleep in the room right there. We usually have the door like either open or closed, and uh, yeah, it just turned off again, but. So that sensor will randomly go off in the middle of the night. Our room's over, way over here. Our bed's way over here. And we'll be sleeping. Sometimes it'll go off in the middle of the night. So that's one thing that happens. And then another thing is this door will be closed like this. And you could hear, you you would hear this at night or once in a while when there's a lot of people here, and no one's up here. You'll hear this. Oh, well, that's like that. I guess someone's using the bathroom, and no one's up here. This is my game room. I usually make the vaping videos at. I'll turn the lights on, but the lights are not working right now. But uh, a few times. We had uh, friends and family living here. This door right here for this room, our uh, guest bedroom, you would hear it. Do stuff like that, or you hear it like this. When there would be no one here. You also hear footsteps walking back and forth. It's pretty creepy sometimes. When there's a lot of people staying, it's like the the ghost uh, uses the energy of everyone and likes to walk around the house. We think it might—I think it might be like a child or something—because we had family sitting here, and kids sitting here. Uh, they'd be upstairs with the kids or something. You hear footsteps walking back and forth while the kids are sleeping. We checked so many times before. We're like, we watching the TV downstairs and. We were hearing footsteps walking back and forth upstairs. We're like, all right, the kids gotta be asleep, so we'll go check, and the kids are just knocked out, like straight up sleeping. So there's a, there's a few things that happened here. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Oh yeah, so one time we were watching Conjuring 2 um, on TV, on the on our TV. Anyway, so right when the movie ended, the whole TV, everything turned off. And that's the crazy part. So, also with that movie is when we heard footsteps walking back and forth upstairs and stuff. There's about like four of us watching it. Yeah, it's about four of us watching it, and then uh, we could you hear footsteps walking back and forth. That's when we went upstairs and check on the kids. The kids were sleeping. My niece, my nieces were sleeping. Um, so it gets pretty wild. Um, trying to think of what else happens. Oh yeah, like the basement, when I was in the basement the other day, you hear footsteps walking up in here in the, the living room, no one was here. And these, the the floor is wooden, so it's pretty, it gets pretty creaky, you get hear uh, creaks and stuff, people walking. So, that's just some of the stuff that happens here. I'm trying to think of anything else. I can't really think of anything else right now. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, that's all I really got today, but, I mean, let me know what you guys think about uh, Ghost, and if you guys have any opinions on it, if you guys, let me get some power, let me open the, I bought it, I didn't even open it. Let me know your opinions on it. Yeah, but uh, let me know your experiences too. That'd be pretty sweet to hear some of your guys' experiences. Um, so I have uh, gone ghost hunting in cemeteries, um, abandoned uh, gold mines. I think they're gold mines. They're mines though. Um, let's see where else. Want to go to a hospital? That'd be pretty sweet to go to a hospital. 
He goes home in the hospital. But cemeteries, our old house, our old apartment, I mean, kind of not really here. I don't really want to do it here because I don't want to, like, um, activate anything, really. But I'm mean, going to try it a little bit, but not, like, a lot because then I'll activate something or make this place active. My dog. Just let me know what your occurrences are. Let me know uh, what you've seen. If you, if you have any uh, bad experiences, good experiences. I've seen, uh, like I said, I've seen shadow people. Uh, seeing demons. I've seen uh, spirits, felt them, the presence. Uh, oh yeah, I've actually been ghost, ghost hunting at uh, hotels too. It was pretty sweet. I was in Alaska. What's she doing? They were trying to find like crumbs and shit in the kitchen floor. We just made steaks today. So it's one thirty-four in the morning. It's pretty late or early, how you want to see it. Um, I don't know if you guys believe that the whole uh, 3, 3 a.m. thing is uh, when the gates of hell open. Cause I've been we've been, I've been ghost hunting a lot of places in Alaska. I had a lot of crazy experiences. It was pretty fun up there doing stuff like that. I want to do it here in Colorado, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make a vlog of doing that. It'd be pretty fun. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's, it's if you guys want to ask me more questions, you you definitely can. I uh I do want to do a Ouija board again, but no one like everyone I try to ask wants to do it. They're like they're too afraid to try it. But uh it's just one of those things. I, I want to go to either a abandoned hospital here or abandoned house. That'd be pretty that'd be pretty sick to go to. I want to go. To, I haven't been to the cemetery here yet, but I want to do that too. There's actually a cemetery. Pretty, pretty sure there's a cemetery right at a skate park here. The Memorial Skate Park. Pretty sure there's a cemetery right next to it. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty cool. Go, go ghost hunting and then go skating. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I wish it was warmer. I do wish it was warmer outside. If it was warmer, I'd probably like go outside and skate around or something. Go on a cruise. Cruise around. Um, but... Uh, I've had an out of body experience one time. So, okay, this is what happened. It was pretty trippy. All right, let me fix the camera. It was pretty trippy. So, it was in Alaska. It was a we were living in a triplex at the time. And as we were there, me and my wife were sleeping in the bed. And this is what she told me. She said that I was like making noises in my sleep. I was like trying to like move but I was like I wasn't moving but I was like making noises and uh what I remember is I was laying in bed and I got up but when I got up I could see myself in bed still the weird thing is I couldn't see my wife I just saw myself I saw myself laying in bed and then I look into the hall and the, into the living room because it was just like a, it was a small apartment it was one bedroom so like Here's our bedroom, and then let's say I'm looking this way, the living room's just right there, and then the bathroom's just like right in our ba in our bedroom. There's a door and it goes to the bathroom, so it was a really small apartment or a uh, triplex room, whatever you want to call it. I was looking into the living room, and all I see was just like darkness, like into the living room, and then like a little back further in the living room was like a, in our corner it was like very very dark so it was like dark but even darker so i look at myself sleeping in bed i look into the living room and i see darkness and then i see more darkness like sh like straight black darkness and for some reason i was just like attracted to it i started walking towards it and i started getting closer i see an arm reach out and a woman like a really old like, this is giving the chills right now, just rethinking re about it. A really old woman, it looked like. And she was just like, she put her hand out. And she was just going like this. And uh, she wasn't speaking or anything. I, 
I can't describe what she looked like, but I, can, I know she was like an like old, old woman. That's like the only description I could give. And it was like creepy. It was like very creepy. And so I was walking towards her. And as I was walking towards her, and she kept going like that, like telling me to come here. Like giving hand signals to come here. I started following, I started walking like, like this is like the, this is like the normal, normal thing to do. Just walk towards some creepy ass lady in the dark. And uh, so my wife heard me making noises and I was just walking and out of nowhere, I just felt myself like getting really, really scared. And then at the same time, just really, really happy to walk toward that, towards that direction. And then that's when everything just stopped and I felt a tug on my shirt like this from the back, from behind though. So from behind it went like that, it tugged me back and I, I went back into my body. Like I was like, I was like almost into the darkness, like to the very, very end where she was at. I was probably like maybe a good six feet away from her. And I just felt the tug like that and it was pulling back to my body. And then I, I like, I was laying down. I woke up really fast. I was just like sweating profusely. And uh, I felt very, my heart was pumping really fast. I felt like very, very, very scared, but very, very, very happy at the same time. I was like very excited and scared and nervous. I was like every emotion you could think of. And I was just feeling that. And then uh, my wife just looks at me and she's like, hey, you're making some weird noises. And I was just like looking into the living room and there's like a little bit of light from the moon coming in and there's nothing in there. And I was just like, I was just freaking, I was like tripped out because I never had that experience before. And it was just amazing, but scary at the same time. And it just, I was just like flipping out, but uh, that's my out of body experience. It was, it was very, very creepy. And then, um, so after that happened, that's when, I think that was before or after we started playing with Ouija boards, me and my buddies. But uh, when we did start playing with, playing with Ouija boards, I feel the first time I played with Ouija boards, um, I remember that night, I started hearing voices, like whispers, and I was trying to go to sleep. It was around like maybe two in the morning. I started hearing whispers saying, I'm gonna creep, I got chills again. All right, all right, I got goosebumps. Um, I started getting like, uh, started hearing whispers saying, come play, come play with us. We're waiting. We want you to play. I kept hearing whispers saying stuff like that, like about the Ouija board. And then uh, I think I, I think I texted my friend, but I don't remember texting him and asked him, uh, "Let's play the Ouija board or something like that." Because I remember asking him the next morning, we went to PT. I was like, "Hey man," uh, or he said, "He says why did you text me?" I was like, "I don't remember texting you or some shit like that." Um, but that was pretty creepy too. Like that, that was pretty. That was weird. I was like addicted to the Ouija board. Like I couldn't get away from it. Yeah, that was. That was an experience. Well, there's just a few experiences. Also, uh, when I was when we first got our first apartment in uh, Alaska, so my wife wasn't up there yet. I was up there. I got the apartment, and I was sleeping in the bedroom. We didn't have anything, so I was sleeping on the on the ground on the floor with my sweater over me. It was freaking cold that night. I don't know why I slept there. I should have just slept in the barracks room, but I slept there. I had this, I had my jacket over me, sleeping with the beanie on, just like curled up into a ball, trying to stay warm. And uh, I kept feeling so, like someone was staring at me. It was dark as shit. Um, I should have left like a light on or something to keep me. I don't know. But um, so for this apartment, our bedrooms right here, and there's a hallway right here, and then the bathrooms right there, and the living rooms this way. So you look into the hallway, you go to the right, you go to the bathroom, you go to the left, you go to the living room. It's a pretty big living room. Um, so I was in the room, curled up, and the door's like right there. I was laying there, I kept feeling like someone was staring at me. I had the beanie over my eyes just so I could try to get some sleep, even though it was really pitch black in there. So I was covered up like this, with my jacket over me, and I was just like cold, shivering. Trying to stay warm, my eyes closed, or covered and, and closed. I kept feeling like something was staring at me from this direction. And so I pull up the beanie and I look into the hallway and I just seen uh, a shadow figure like put their hand, their hands are like this and they're just peeking around around the, the doorway just staring at me. And then they just ran away. 
it was like a shadowy figure it was that was really creepy like after that happened i was just like yeah i put my beanie back over me i put the beanie back on and i think i put music on my phone or something and i just like fell asleep but uh it was like the first that was like the first experience um that we had that i had in alaska i had a lot of experiences all my life like i'm saying i seen a lot of shit so um it still creeps me out a little bit but not as much but it has been a while since some shit happened i have a lot of stories but um yeah so hopefully i didn't creep you out too much with telling a story like that um Hopefully you guys uh, are having a good night or good morning. It's gonna be two o'clock in like fifteen minutes. Um, check check out my Instagram. I'm gonna start posting like videos on there too. And that's uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, let's see what else. Anything else I gotta talk about? I, mean, I got like I said, I got a lot of stories. Like I can tell you a story where my brother, when I was living at my grandpa's house, my brother. Um, asked, he went to my room, asked me something. It was dark, so like the, I, I I had my lights off my room. He opened the door. The living room light was on, and so there's like a little bit of light in my room. My room. He walks in. He asked me a question. It's like maybe like, I don't know, midnight or something like that. He asked me a question, and then he walked out. And as soon as he was walking away, so this is his body. As soon as he was walk, as soon as he was walking out the door, his shadow just stood right there. And just started staring at me, and then he closed the door, and I could still see like a figure standing there, and then it just vanished. That was pretty creepy, but I accepted it. I was just like, okay, what do you, what do you want? Like, I wasn't that scared of that of that at the time. Um, let's see a really creepy one. Uh, last story right here. I'll tell you before I end this video. It was a time I saw a demon. Uh, uh, my mother, my mother, I sound like fucking Norman Bates. My mom and my stepfather had uh, gotten an argument. This is when I was living in Whittier, California. And this place was just, this, this house was just creepy. It, it was full of like evil energy, weird energy. It was, it was just not like anything. Um, I remember when we first moved in there too, like there was a dead black cat on the porch or in, on the side. I forgot. I think it was on the porch. And uh, there's this like hole in the wall, and like the hole was like if you look in the hole, it was like probably about this big. You look in the hole, and it's just like pure darkness. And there's like half a tub, like a really old tub covering half the the hole, and the, there's like an extra room that they hid or something. But you look from the outside, it like looked like it never existed. Um, but you look inside. We had I think we used like a flashlight. It was still pitch black. You couldn't see anything. I think that was like a portal or something. I feel like that was a portal. Like, no one wanted to go in there and check it out. Everyone was, like, creeped out. So we just, like, try to forget about it. So it was one time. It was one night. My mom and my stepdad got in the argument. And I was probably, I don't know, like, 12 years old. 11 or 12. Maybe, like, no, like, 10, 11, maybe. 10 or 11. Around, I was young. I was young. And uh, I was sleeping in my mom's room, too. And I was on my little mattress. It was like a twin size mattress and my mom was on her bed. My stepdad, like, they like, they they went to sleep. And uh, the living room light was on. And that hole in the wall was in the living room. It was like a, like a closet for like the towels and stuff. And so, I'm like, okay, so I'm like looking at this. That direction is the hallway. I was laying down. And the hallway light was on, so I could see inside the hallway perfectly clear. And the hallway light was like shining into my face, kind of a little bit. So I saw this little figure. It was short, maybe like three or four feet tall. It's like a three, three feet tall. And uh, I'm getting chills bad right now. And I remember him just staring at me. And I stared back. I was like frozen. Like, I, like, like I, I was like, I was like laying there trying to fall asleep. I couldn't. And I rolled to my right, and that's when I seen it. And uh, yeah, I rolled to my right. That's when I seen it. And uh, he was just staring at me. And he smiled. And then he smiled went from ear to ear. And he had like sharp teeth, from what I remember. And it looked like he had wings, but they're like burnt or something. 
he was like three feet tall and he was staring back at me he smiled and he just started running towards me and then he, he took a quick he like banana peel to the right really quick and then he went towards my stepdad's side of the bed and just vanished into the dark and that was one very scary time that was the first time I've ever seen that and the last time I think and I don't ever want to see that shit again um damn I'm getting chills bad just thinking about it that was pretty wild but uh yeah, I covered myself with the blanket, started praying and stuff. And then I think I fell asleep. But that house especially, there's a lot of shit that happened in that house. So much shit. There was just so much bad energy there. And like the spirits and everything just played off that energy. But I smelled sulfur there. You'd hear like plates clanking in the kitchen, there'd be no one in the kitchen. It was wild. But, uh, that's my story for tonight, it's my vlog. Um, so, I might make a video tomorrow, I'm not too sure. Or today, I mean, I don't know. I might just post some stuff on Instagram. But uh, yeah, check me out on Instagram, I already said it like six times already now, but um, do that. Like this video comment on this video let me know your experiences with any paranormal activity type stuff um maybe ne maybe tomorrow or some other day i'll do like, one about supernatural stuff like aliens or whatnot um yeah that that sounds good i got some stories about that too i do have a lot of paranormal stories but i got some supernatural stories too but uh so comment on stuff like that let me know what you think uh, also, let me know what you think about uh, um, Ouija boards. Let me know what you think about Ouija boards. Do you guys like believe in Ouija boards? Do you guys have you guys ever used one before? Or do you guys want to use one? Let me know about that too. And then uh, share this video, uh, subscribe. That'd be pretty sweet. More subscribers, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.